Hi, welcome back to the Custom Model Guy, and um, this is the next part of the Metal Earth series of the Star Destroyer. Um, as you may remember, we got the, the dome fitted onto the, the underpiece. Um, just a quick note, we hit a milestone, we have 500 subscribers, so yay! <laughs> Um, that's absolutely fantastic and again thank you all for supporting me um, and um, let's look at the next 500 right okay so the next part we're looking at is this little box thing that goes on the underside and it's it's to come through and it's actually I think that's the docking bay isn't it where Princess Leia's ship was held by the looks of it so this is part number five which is on this sheet, I believe. Yeah, so it's that part there. So this is going to be created inversely. So we're going to create a box with the engraving on the inside. Um, I've been playing around with the the camera depth, the field, and the the ISO settings and all that to try and try and get a deeper depth of field um, hopefully it should now encompass almost everything from the oh, that's bent up um, encompass everything from the from the desk up to where I'm working here as you can see that's in perfect focus that's just slightly out of focus now so hopefully it's quite weak now anyway right so Let's start bending these parts up. Yep. What we don't want to do is bend the central part. I think I need to invest in a uh, Find a set of needle nose pliers for these. Uh, these just kind of finesse. Uh, if anybody has any comments on the. Uh, it's folded. <laughs> be careful. Oh, be careful. Uh, if anyone has any comments on the videos, um, if there's any of these Metal Earth models that you'd like to see, please leave a note um, and I will do my best to um, to get one in and do it. If you enjoy the series though, um, you might not be enjoying it. It's, it's obviously quite difficult to see so um, it might not be enjoyable to watch. Um, all these sort of things I, I, can, I need to know. Right. I don't know if there's any particular way around it has to go. Again, this is going to have the tabs on the outside. Um, so there's no, no real other way of doing it, I guess. For the, for the manufacturers to do it. Do is scratch the. Damn, it's 1200 hours. Um, try not to scratch the surface of the um, shiny metal. Um, and now I'm. Those, oh, that's actually gone through the palms. So 
very difficult to see. No, it's missed the holes entirely. bend these up without scratching. Yeah, they've gone in now. Obviously, as you get better with these things, you, you're going to get quicker at them. I was having a look at the, the range, and there's a great golden color C-3PO. Um, do. Um, it's, it's a full on figurine standing about yay height. Okay, right, that piece is in. Next, we have on that side six and seven. piece will go on the side there so that's just going to bend down thing is um, how are you feeling about the video length I um, mean do you want to jump me see do you want to see me do more in in one sitting or or is these 10 minute so 10 15 minute bite sizes is that is that good um, again if you can let me know um, I'm still actually trying to upload the first video because uh, YouTube have actually changed um, used to be able to put annotations in but they've added 
something called end screen now. Um, the thing was the annotations never worked on mobile devices, which is, I believe, is a is a huge portion of viewers watch on the mobile devices now. I mean, I know I do. Um, but the annotations, the ability to to embed a square on the screen which people could click on um, to take them to previous videos and that sort of thing. They, they've changed it now. Annotations still do not work. You can put them in but they still do not work on, uh, on mobile devices. So they've put something on called end screen and you can add what they call elements. And elements do work on. Oh, no, that's not, that's not, that's not it. Um, elements do work on mobile devices, which is great. But um, on my end screen, I usually have the link to the previous video and a link to the previous build. So in this case, it would be the ignoring the Star Trek model which is incomplete would be the Bumblebee cameo camera 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 but and I also had a link to the Facebook account and subscribe button well in order to do those you have to have a an associated website which has to have an embedded code in the root directory And in doing so, I found out that my website has actually expired. The domain name expired, and I didn't even know. Um, so I've been paying for hosting on a website that wasn't up and running. A bit annoying, but anyway. So I've, I've, I've renewed the domain. And I'm just waiting for for that to propagate across the name servers before I can even upload my video because I can't insert an element for the end screen until the the, the YouTube website recognises my associated website. Very annoying, but never mind. Right. Okay. So that's in. That's the two plates. Um, and I think I'll leave it at that for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.